In today's video, we're going to be finding out whether or not optimizing your app or game for search on the App Store really makes a difference to the number of organic downloads you can expect to get. From research that's been carried out, we know that most app downloads come from people browsing the App Store, so this means that making your app easy to find is really important for driving downloads. And one of the best ways to achieve this is to ensure that your app or game is ranking as highly as possible for the relevant keywords and phrases that people are looking for. We're going to be using my own niche educational app as our ASO guinea pig for this experiment. And if you haven't already seen it, check out the last video in this series where I go through the changes I made to my app and its store listing to improve its rankings. I'll leave a link somewhere in the video and in the description below. Okay, to show you how my rankings have improved since applying the changes in my last video, I'm going to be using App Annie again and showing you guys as much data as I can. I initially released my app in May and we can see that up until about August it was ranking pretty poorly with very few search phrases or keywords in the top 100 results. And it should be clear that hardly anybody is going to be going that far to find an app. Then in around mid-August I changed a couple of things. Firstly, I released an update to my app and then I subsequently updated the wording and narrative of my store listing to better target the keywords that I wanted to attract downloads from. I also worked on getting five ratings for my app so that it could get an official average rating on the store. And immediately after making these changes, we've seen a jump in rankings across a whole set of keywords and search phrases, including a lot that I didn't even target or haven't even specifically mentioned in my store listing. So thanks for that Google much obliged. We can see that as of now, my rankings are all within the top 100 and actually most of them are within the top 50 keywords. I still want to work on this to get the rankings even higher and I'll tell you guys a couple of things I'm going to try to do to achieve that but first let's find out if this improvement in store ranking has actually led to any more downloads. To check this out I'm going to go into the Google console and look at the store analysis and we'll look at the full six week period before we release the app update. So basically that'll be from July the 1st to August the 16th. And from what we can see, we only managed to get four downloads in that period, which is pretty bad, even for this lowly ranking, as on average, I've been seeing at least around six downloads a month. Between launching the update to the app on the 16th of August and the end of August, I carried out some Google Ads campaigns to boost my user numbers and to get some usage data for the app. So I'm not going to include that period for review. Instead, I look at the month of September so far for new users acquired, so just over three weeks of activity. And what we can see here is that we got 19 new users over a period of 23 days. So the improvement that we've seen from the optimization exercise so far has been pretty drastic. We've gone from four new installs in six weeks to 19 installs in three weeks, and that's close to a thousand percent improvement. So it looks like the App Store optimization changes are actually paying off because I'm securing new users organically uh, or in other words, for free, I'm not having to pay ads to attract them. So what am I going to be focusing on next? Well, to make sure I keep the app fresh, I'm working on another release with some new and really cool features. I'm also going to try and push those keyword rankings even further to start hitting the top 20 for various phrases. But as you guys might have noticed from the store performance screens I showed earlier, if you are sharp, I'm going to have to start focusing on and experimenting with improving my conversion rates, which shows being below average. As this might be linked to how well I rank, I'm gonna want my conversion rate to be as high as possible. If you wanna see these videos and more, make sure you're subscribed and that you hit the bell button to get notified. That's where we'll leave it for today, guys. Thanks for watching and see you soon.